I have a problem with the holiday of Hanukkah. And the problem centers around the main commandment of the holiday, the lighting of the menorah. If you look in the Talmud with how we do the commandment of lighting the menorah, it's very strange. The Talmud says, how do you fulfill the commandment of lighting the menorah? You light one candle for eight nights of Hanukkah. The Talmud doesn't stop there. Then it says, if you want to do the commandment Mahadran, which means if you want to beautify it, each person in the house lights one candle each of eight nights of Hanukkah. But still, the Talmud doesn't stop there. The Talmud goes on to say, if you want to do the commandment Mahadran min Mahadran in the best possible way, then the Talmud gives two opinions. Hillel and Shammai, we go like Hillel. Hillel says you light one candle on the first night, two candles on the second night, three candles on the third night, so forth and so on. And I have two difficulties with this piece of the Talmud. Number one, when was the last time you walked into someone's house on the fifth night of Hanukkah and found one candle burning? And you ask the person, why do you only have one candle burning? I say, what do you mean? The Talmud says, one, one candle per house. That's what I'm doing. I fulfilled the commandment. What do you want from me? Everywhere you go in the Jewish world, Everyone lights Mahadran Mena Mahadran. Everyone's lighting in the best possible way. Everyone lights five candles on the fifth night, six candles on the sixth night, seven candles on the seventh night. So why does the Talmud give these different gradations? Not only that, to the best of my knowledge, nowhere else in the Talmud is a commandment dealt with like this. Usually the Talmud tells us, if you want to fulfill the commandment, do this. If you don't want to, do it like this. Why do we have these three steps of do the commandment, do it Mahadran or do it Mahadran and Mahadran? The answer lies in the story of the Maccabees. The Maccabees were running away from the Hellenized Greeks. They were running away from their prohibitions of practicing Judaism. And they continued to practice Judaism hiding out in the hills of the Judean desert. And they could have done that for a long time and no one would have bothered them. But they said, we have a problem here. The city of Jerusalem is overrun with Hellenism. The temple is laying cold, dark, and fallow. We want to show the world that there's still some Jews out there that care. Yeah, we don't have a chance against the Greeks. Yeah, we're probably going to get killed. But we're going to do it anyways, just to show that we care. So they waged their first battle, and they won. They waged their second battle, and they won. Third, fourth, fifth. Eventually, they made their way all the way back to Jerusalem. And they're able to run the Greeks out of the temple, take it over again, and rededicate that temple it came time to light the menorah. And they realized they only had enough oil to last one night. And it was gonna take them eight days before they could get more oil. So they started discussing what to do. Do we maybe only take one eighth of the oil? Do we use smaller wicks? What do we do? Judah, the head of the family said, no. We just fought a war that we never should have fought. And we just won a war that we never should have won. Let's put in all the oil and let's see what happens. And we all know that a miracle happened and that oil that was only enough for one day lasted eight days until they could get more oil. And that's the lesson of Hanukkah. The lesson of Hanukkah is we have to be like the Maccabees. So often we could get by with just getting by. We could get by with mediocrity. We could do just what we have to do in life. And you know what, that'd be fine. We'd fulfill our obligations. The lesson of the Maccabees is that we have to not only get by in life, but we have to go not only Mahadran, but we have to go Mahadran and Mahadran. That everything we do in our lives, we should do in the best possible way. And therefore, this Hanukkah, when on the third night of Hanukkah, we light three lights, and on the fourth night, we light four lights, we should think about this lesson, how everything should always be done in the best possible way. And if we take that lesson to heart, we'll truly have a meaningful Hanukkah. We'd like to wish everyone out there a very happy Hanukkah.